Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day, everyone. Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up uh, some knots, a couple simple knots that you want to know for your saltwater applications. I've used it on even um, trout or salmon for sure. Um, northern pike. Uh, so I'll show you a nice little uh, loop knot for attaching your flies to a heavy bite tippet. And uh, we'll start here. I'm just going to demonstrate that with some 40 pound big game. It's in a, a, just in a bright yellow color here so hopefully you can see it a little better. I'll get a piece of that off here. And so what we need to do is start, we're going to take our tag end here and take a granny knot, just a simple granny, and go through it one more time. And then I'll pull this down till you see figure eight form right there. Now we take it through the eye of the hook. See this 40, this is just barely going to go through here. I think I didn't nip it off quite straight, maybe that was it. It'll feel a little better. Okay, now we'll go through the eye of the hook. There it is. Couldn't go any heavier tippet than that. Through that fly for sure. If you a little fly like that, I'm using about 25, 20 to 25 pound bite tippet. Now we have that figure eight down here. I'm going to just take the tag end and follow that standing line, the main line back through, just going back the way it came the first time. And it'll just it'll just lay right in there nicely. Right through the same way. I'm just going to uh, tighten that up by pulling on the tag and that'll tighten right up against the fly. Okay. And then we're just going around. This is the standing line in my hand here. We got the tag. I'm going to go around that one time. Just around the standing line one time. Basically a granny knot. And you pull that down and snug that up your pliers. Take these pliers that have a little ring in them. Make sure you're careful of that and then snug it up tight. And that's an improved Homer Road. Nice little knot, nice loop knot for you. Gives you all the movement you need with a heavy bite tippet. It's better if you tied that on solid, it would just basically look in behind like a stick. It wouldn't have any, any movement following the current and, and kick around like a bait fish would actually uh, operate. So it's good for, no matter if fishing big bull trout, salmon, any saltwater species, whatever you like. There you go. Now, when you want to take, let's say an example, you want to take a heavy butt section of a leader, you want to go down to some thinner material. For here, what I'm going to do is actually incorporate um, some 25 pound in my leader system because I want it to break. Some guys are tying 80 pound right to their big flies, and man, I'll tell you, you get you get that caught up in something, you get a leg hung up, or who knows what. Those fish are moving in, in a hurry. Some of them, they, they can wrap. You know that that line comes off the deck and can wrap around all kinds of parts. And 80 pound test will not break your rod, everything's going to blow up. So, what I'm going to do here again is just take my standing line, or here's my 40 pound, and you can do this with much heavier. You can go way, way heavier, 80 pound if you want, or 100, and just go around twice again. So, you've got your little figure eight coming through there again. There's your eight, it's figure eight. Then, I'll take the 20 pound or 25 pound, whatever through 
and I'm going to follow it the same way as I did the other one. I'm just going to follow it back. I'm trying to get my arms quite a ways out here so I can get it on your screen for you. So I just follow that standing line back through itself. You can see that. Just basically followed the same way back through. Now I'm just going to tighten up that figure eight a little bit. I want quite a bit of tag here on this 20 pound. I got 25 pound right here actually. Then I'll take my my index finger, just lay it in between, and I'm going to wrap forward seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven times. Now I'm going to take the back. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to wrap five times back. One, two, three, four, and five. Then point, put it through that loop that I had my little finger in there, and that just hold that tag. And I'm just going to pull it out screen. I'm going to moisten this up. You must moisten that up good so it slips. And we'll get our hands in here good on both sides and give it a good stiff pull, and uh, that'll snug right up. It's called a slim beauty. And that will uh, tie off. It comes off uh, straight off each other. It's a great way of tying two, a heavy and a, and a light piece of leader material together. And uh, you can use much heavier. This is 40 pounds, so you know I'd be looking at probably 60, 80 pounds, but you get the idea that it works on two different diameters very, very well. So Let's uh, hope that'll help you out a little bit with some of your angling and uh, you'll be able to swap your own flies out, tie your own leaders, build whatever you need to do. Always important, just as important as tying, tying the fly itself is knowing how to rig up and doing it properly. So hope that helps some of you out and uh, all the best on the water there with your pike fishing or saltwater fishing or salmon, trout, whatever you're pursuing. Bass, there's all kinds of opportunities there and and uh, catch you again real soon. We thank you again for catching this little tidbit of information on sport fishing on the fly. If you have any other ideas or questions, please send them over to askdon at sfotf.ca and, and uh, we'll look, look after the best we can. Okay, have a great day.